Okay. Cup of coffee first, then I'll put myself outside for a while. <laughs> do we have Kramer? We do! Yay! I need to drink some fire cider as well. Watch pot never boils. Hi, 4K. We love rain. I'm getting myself some coffee, and then we're going to go outside, and then we're going to come inside, and we're going to work with this Napa cabbage. I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. I know I'm fermenting it. Hold on. I might do it just like sauerkraut. All right, let's go outside. Let's have some coffee and chit and chat. How are you? I am fine. I had a good night's sleep. It was a beautiful Sunday, slow. We went for a bike ride. Ah, had time for coffee, breakfast, and lunch. Yeah. Holy yeah. Hannah, it was beautiful. Mama Ray, Ray. You guys, I'm in a, can you, can you watch the dog? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to come outside because it's so nice. No! She's so fast. Wow. Oh my, you know what? I came out here with no sunglasses. Is that crazy or what? Mama Ray Ray. Hey, SW, how are you? I've been over at your channel, just so you know. Yes, I'm going to, Um, I need to have my morning coffee. I'm definitely going to go in and get my sunglasses because again, it's a beautiful day. Again, it's a beautiful day in northern Minnesota. I don't even know how this happens. Um, if I'm buffering, let me know. I don't think I'm buffering, but there's a lot of wind. And if it gets too windy, then I have to go inside. But um, I can't stand the sun like this. So let's have you look at that beautiful flag. I'll be right back. Did you lock me out? All right. Anybody buffering? Are you okay? No buffer. Okay, good. Uh, sorry you had to look at the flag. SW, thanks for sticking around. I'm sure there's other people still in here. Four Ks, we love rain. Are you still here? You guys share out the live so we can get more people in here. This will be fun. At four. Oh, you seem to still be here, so... 
Yes, <clears throat> good. It is superbly beautiful here in Minnesota, but I needed to take, I need to have my coffee before I do anything. We're gonna do something with the Napa cabbage this morning. And <clears throat> no, I won't be, hey, Alyssa, how are you? Good to see you. Um, we're gonna do something with a Napa cabbage this morning. We're not gonna make kimchi because um, I feel like for me, that would be cultural appropriation since I've only tasted kimchi once or twice. Um, and although I, I, I loved what I tasted, I don't know enough about kimchi to, to, um, to make it. So we'll just do something else. Please share out the live. Please share out the live. Have some folks come up in here. Yes, I'm wondering if folks are getting sick of me yet. Mm. Ah, coffee is so good. Yes, hello. Hi, Mama Ray Ray. Everybody's saying hello. There's no buffer. That's good. That means I can sit out here and soak up some vitamin D. I need some vitamin D desperately. After our long winter, heck yes. The more vitamin D I can get, the better. Mm. So, yesterday was an interesting day. Many of you were with, uh, with my 4K. Whoops. No, I don't want to leave sight. Cancel. Many of you were with our 4K watch team most of the day. That was really interesting going from person to person. I started out the day, which I thought, wow, I got everybody in here. <laughs> then I had to send them off to someone else. I was like, oh, dang. Hello, Alyssa. Hello, Mama Ray Ray. So right now, who do we have? We have SW who says I'm not buffering. That's good. We have Mama Ray Ray, 4Ks, uh, 4Ks We Love Rain, and Alyssa. Let's see if we get more folks in here. Tatted hearts. You're not sick of me yet. Tatted Hearts is not sick of me. Alyssa's not sick of me. Mama Ray Ray's here and not sick of me. Oh, I had some good sleep. I changed my profile picture. I will, when I get inside and I have my other computer open, I'll look at that for sure. Um, right from what I see right now, it's kind of cool. I like it. I like it. So, but it'll be easier to see when I can just, I can click on your name. So share out the live so we can get more folks in here. Like I said, we're going to be doing something with Napa cabbage and probably talking about purpose in life. Your purpose in life. What's your purpose in life? I'm back on that kick. Purpose, friendship, I'm figuring it out, but the purpose thing. Not that it's hard to figure out purpose, but how many of you have had, feel like your purpose in life has changed more than once? Oh, there's a loon off in the distance. It sounds so pretty. Share out the live, thumbs up the live, all of that. If you can, please, please. So while I'm having my coffee, I, um, me, yes. What happened, Mama Ray Ray? What are you talking about, Mama Ray Ray? Talking about purpose, change? Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. All of you in here have subscribed, so we're here to chat and enjoy each other. Um, uh, purpose in life. I, uh, I don't want to get too deep because whenever I get too deep, people have to go someplace else. <laughs> so, yeah, I've changed my purpose in life a few times. Um, I, I don't know if there's a grander plan out there for me, but my purpose, I think it's always been to teach, somehow teach, somehow teach. But um, I, it seems that like I, I flip from one thing to another. Um, the three constants though are teaching, dance. The two constants are te teaching and dance. Uh, YouTube is another avenue I realized for me to teach and hopefully through a little bit of humor. Uh, my video yesterday was how to make a margarita. Actually, it was Troy's best margarita. So it was a collaboration with my husband, but we were teaching how to do something. Um, 
my live streams, sometimes I, I tend to go off and I, I'm on, on, on whims, but in that process, I find that I'm teaching five people in the stream. Remember to smash the like button. That's true. Absolutely true. ZennyTube. Hey, able to make your live because I called out of work. Well, I think that's terrific. Call out of work and relax, girl. A lot of discomfort today. Oh, no. Oh, I hope you... Discomfort? That makes me sad, ZennyTube. Do you guys know ZennyTube? She is one of my favorite new um, um, channels that I follow. She's funny. She does mostly live streams right now. I, I think she's, are you above 400 now? Hi, uh, Ariel Williams, Simple Life. Hi, how are you? It is a, you guys, I gotta show you. This is so rare in Minnesota and I'm wondering if like YouTube, you guys have something to do with it. Look at how beautiful it is. With a slight breeze, can you see the flag waving? Yeah, this is like, this is not usual weather for us. My car works now, so the battery's full. Yay! Woo! Love it. It's sunny and nice today. Yes, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Anyway, I'm back. <laughs> I mean, of course I'm back. I was reading uh, ZennyTube say something about... Anyway, I don't know. ZennyTube. ZennyTube is one of my favorite new channels. I want you guys to check her out. Lori Lumex, good morning. I haven't seen you. You guys, if it gets loud, it's because a big truck is passing. Uh, ZennyTube, I know SW and Ariel. So you guys, make sure you get to, get to know each other if there's another car. If there's anyone in here you don't know, please make sure you go check them out. If you like their channel, subscribe. If you have no intention of going back, don't waste your time or theirs, right? Okay. Uh, but Zenny to where's your coffee? Thank you. Nice reminder. They make some really good coffee in this house. It's delicious. Exactly, ZennyTube says. Got a power walk, yes. Yay! Um, so you have to go, are you leaving uh, Simple Life? Do you, oh, Simple Life. My, hu my husband and I actually do uh, rinse with coconut oil. Um, he's He had some awful problems with, uh, with tartar and plaque. And I was like, hun, I know this sounds strange to you. Let's do some uh, oil, uh, coconut oil rinsing. Now people call it pulling. I don't, I don't know what that is, but I rinse, here comes a big truck, you guys. So I'm gonna get quiet in a second. It's a big truck pulling a big truck. Exploring Ginger, hi. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Lori, it's overcast in 68 and it's been rainy. The garden is happy. I can see the plants smiling. That's wonderful, Lori. That's beautiful. I don't have a garden because I'm not at my own home. I haven't been in my own home during the summer for five years. This is my last year here. I will have a garden next year. My husband and I say that we are going to have a garden. The garden here just got eaten by all the deer. So, they must have a construction project going on around here. We can hear you so you know, barely hear the cars or trucks. Oh, okay, so I can talk at you. Here goes another one. <laughs> what? I guess it's Monday, people gotta work, but all at the same time? 4K, coconut oil is great in salads. I love co coconut oil for almost everything. When I had, you guys, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be really personal. When I had toenail fungus, the way I took care of it, um, first of all, I kept trimming back the part that was, um, was infected, but I kept using coconut oil. I used coconut oil on that toe for, um, you know, it's hard to get rid of that. But I, um, Use coconut oil on it for over, for a year, 
the toenail eventually grew back stronger, better, and without fungus. I had never had fungus before. It was so nasty. All of a sudden, my toenail started lifting. Oh, oh it was just my toenail was separated from the, um, from the bed. So gross. I talk loud so loud. Yes, you do, but that's okay. You talk loud, and that's in the best way. You know what? That's that teacher voice. Right. Right, exactly the bee lady. It's so gross, but coconut oil. You take that coconut oil and every day consistently rub it in, rub it in. It has to be, um, it, it has to be virgin coconut oil. Um, you know, the stuff that isn't, I forgot. Uh, I don't know what they do to it, but yeah, you put that every day wherever it is on your body, fungus anywhere on your body, uh, and coconut oil takes care of it. Coffee time. Well, nail. Yes. Alyssa, husband is up and making coffee in our French press. Oh, I love French presses. Ooh, yucky fungus. Yes. So, you guys, um, today, again, we are going to that breeze. If my hair was out, you'd be seeing it do this. Uh, today we're going to look at fermenting some um, Napa cabbage. I probably will do it like sauerkraut. I am not going to do kimchi again uh, because I know nothing about container of it and sometimes used for brushing my teeth. Oh yeah, we, that we were just talking about oil pulling. Let me finish my one thought and then I'll get back to that because I was talking about that. So um, I'm not going to do kimchi because that would be cultural pro appropriation since I've only had kimchi twice in my life, although I loved it. I don't know enough about kimchi to take this Napa cabbage and do that with it. Um, I am going to slice it in bigger chunks, um, not super thin. And might put some seasoning in. I'll look at my. I'll look at. Uh, I'll look online and see what kind of seasoning I could use that would make, would be appropriate for a Napa cabbage. Probably some red pe red pepper flakes. Uh, maybe some ginger. Yeah, red pepper flakes, ginger, and be nice to put an apple in there. That would be good. So back to passion for hunting and fishing. How are you, you guys? My very first live stream that I went into, besides Daddy Kerb's farm, I didn't. I thought that was just a show. First networking live stream I went into was Passion for Hunting and Fishing, and um, I feel that was quite the experience. I was shocked, first of all, <laughs> like so much chat was going on at the same time, so much stuff. Anyway, Passion for Hunting and Fishing is a really good site for, uh, and I've been watching your videos. Um, which is mostly what I watch of yours, passion for hunting and fishing. Um, so get over to his channel and check it out. If he, Are you still networking, passion for hunting, hunting and fishing? I'm doing good, my friend. My pleasure to be in your live stream. Thank you. Appreciate that, my friend. Yes, you guys, if you get a chance, go over and check out his channel. He uh, deserves every accolade I give him. And he is a wonderful human being. He does some really great uh, uh, hunting and fishing videos. I have enjoyed every single one. So get there, get there, get there, as Carter Zeet would say. Yes, I'm back and I will be live again. Act I will be active again. Okay, good. Hello, I know uh, too fast. Sometimes those streams move so fast. The um, So passion for hunting and fishing, I really like. I also like... Um, Gill Skills. These are my two networking sites that I like going into. Um, although the Friday Friday Grow Day is is wonderful, and you all know about that stuff. Uh, I get I get anxiety. <laughs> I get like ah, too much happening at the same time. I know it's too fast, but it's lovely. Gill Skills is a good friend. Yes, I love that guy. He's my he's my buddy, buddy, buddy. He comes in and talks to me every now and then. So, mm. so that would be great idea for us to, aka, learn so much. Sorry, 
learned so much way back then. They never let new channel go live alone. That is true. I'm impressed about your channel. You're doing good. My I'm doing the best I can. I am. I'm trying to, um, you know, I'm working on my 4K. If I can get there, I'll be happy. Sooner would be better than later, 4K hours. Um, I was up to 14, uh, 14, four, wait, 104, 1,460 subscribers this morning and then promptly dropped down to 1,458. So, you know, I, I, I still have to do my networking, still have to get out there, but I'm uh, more importantly for me are my 4,000 watch hours. Bee Lady is with me on this venture. Alyssa, I, I'm, I'm, we're working on her, getting her some someplace, <laughs> getting her to where she wants to go. We're working on everybody. So um, please check each other out, enjoy each other's company, and uh uh, become family, become like family. So let's have a moment of <laughs> Tai Chi. <laughs> that was when my brain said, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about food. That's what we're going to talk about. Um, I hope you all got to see my margarita video, video yesterday. Troy, uh, Troy did a collaboration with me. He finally gave up his recipe, which, you know, it's been a secret from me even. She totally missed the channel support idea I gave her. Gotta love her. I did not. That would be great idea for us to do, a.k.a. we learned so much way back then. They never let a new channel go live alone. I did not miss that idea. We have to hatch it out. Um, we'll hatch it out. Got to hatch that idea. I will keep that idea, and we will do something with it, B-Lady. Ah, uh, accusations. Live stream. Uh, I live streamed two times yesterday, and I have so many new channel. If you free next time, come over for more new friends. You guys are all welcome to join. When are you live streaming again, Passion for Hunting and Fishing? I look forward to, to doing that, because it's not freaky. You don't... Your channel doesn't like make me go, ah, you know, that is not, well, be lady. I'm trying to have a, ch we are lucky. We had our, our other channels have us go live with them and they introduced us to their followers. Yes, that's true. Okay. I got it. I got it. If there's another one in there, let me know. Be lady. I'll go back even further and read it. <laughs> okay. Probably tonight. Good to know. Um, passion for hunting and fishing. For me, that's difficult this summer because I have rehearsal from, I have rehearsals from, well, my, today I start at four uh, until 10. So I won't, probably won't be able to catch it, but I will try to catch it. I will try to catch those in the future after this summer is over. I give, what? What? The bee lady. Goodness me. Yucky fungus. Hello. Good to see you. Have a huge container of it and sometimes oil pulling. Okay. Zenny tube. Alyssa Crewwood. I have a French press. Oh, we are making fermented cabbage. Passion. Yes, you're saying hello. Remember, thumbs up. We were lucky. We had other, what did I miss? <laughs> be lady, you're, you're not going to be up my game here. I thought I got you. I thought I had it. Anyway, um, let's go back to oil pulling really quick. Because you did ask something about that. And I thought I, gosh darn it, where'd my, I'm trying to, I lost, okay. Let me see something. I lost my cursor. There it is. Okay. Okay. There we go. No, no, no. That is not what I meant. Be lady. Okay. I'm going to go back to oil pulling though. I know you have a channel idea. We'll figure it out. I can't, I can't figure it out right now. So many folks are afraid to go live. No one ever let the channel go live. No one should ever let channel go live alone. That is true. 
And I believe every channel needs to have a moderator. I do. I absolutely do. Um, and a good moderator, like Bee Lady. Okay. So let's talk about oil pulling really quick, and then we'll go inside and ferment some cabbage because I'm almost done with my coffee. Um, when my husband started, uh, or he's had some problems with his teeth, he's had a lot of tartar. They call it tenacious tartar. Uh, he brushes, he flosses, he uses a water pick, and he was still struggling with that. So then oil pulling, okay, I don't, I call it rinsing with coconut oil for 20 minutes. I guess it's called oil pulling. What I know scientifically what it does is it kills uh, bad bacteria and fungus. This is what coconut oil does. So when you rinse with that, it starts to do its work. And for him, after he had rinsed with coconut oil for... I think it was three weeks, he went back into the dentist because he had, he had to have some work done and then he had to have a checkup. They were impressed, amazed actually, at the difference between three weeks before and that day. So if you have problems with tartar on your teeth and you're a consistent, a person who consistently brushes, you're a person who consistently flosses, and if you don't do those two things, you need to add that into your routine. Try the coconut oil. Now, it isn't the least I would say you should. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dentist. But I know what wor works for Troy and I. I only have to rinse for 8 to eight to 10 minutes. He rinses for 20 minutes. And it works tremendously for him. Plus, it's a, it's a natural whitener for some reason. <laughs> I'm going to begin going on panels with larger channels to be introduced to their followers and do not want to hear anything from any of the sisters. Right. So how do you go on these panels? Um, Cause I, I know that Google, Google, um, Google chat is going away. So how do you do these channels? That's something I'd be interested in hearing. One Peaceful Mind, Alicia, hello. Good to see you. Hello, One Peaceful Mind. Thank you for coming in. I do 10 minutes. Yep, I do 10 minutes too. Troy has to do 20 though. Uh, I'm going to let that show. Your, my stupid acne won't go away. I don't know what to... Um, I don't know if coconut oil would work on acne. I can imagine it might. Um, I know that if... You know, if I if I had when I have um, eczema, what I do is I take coconut oil and tea tree oil, and I put it on that. Didn't quite work for the spot I had on my arm, but it's worked multiple times. Get anything through to anyone, and that's why we had a flop chain yesterday. Uh, you know what though? The um, from four until ten went well. Be lady, I thought from four until ten. And it ended up with Carter Z, which seems to be, you know, the queen, <laughs> with 25, 30 people in her chat. So, you know, I didn't think it was a complete flop. It was pretty sad when um, we went to go see the person after you and she wasn't there. That's what frustrated me. And then we had to do something else. But everybody after 4 o'clock, which would be 5 o'clock your time, everybody in our Sunday love stream, uh, we did well. And I'll tell you what, uh, B lady, this is what we could do. Um, you and I could do that Sunday thing because it's a guarantee. I'm here. You're here. We know what we're going to do. So don't give up on me, right? Don't give up on me. Give up. On, let's, let's let it work itself out. But you and I know when we're going to go live, but it is, it, it, it was a, it was too bad when we went from, I think you had a lot of people in there at the end of your hour, and then there was no place to go. That, that kind of was frustrating. Don't give up. Don't give up. No, I give up on it all. On what all? Oh, my gosh. Tatted heart. Try lemon juice or orange cut slice on. Yep, that might work. Five minutes a day. I agree. Okay, you guys, I am uh, going to go inside. Let's work on... So you're giving up on me too, B-Lady? 
Yes, I understand. So you and me, right? We got we got each other. I don't want you to give up. Okay. Julia's inside. She has to go to work soon, but we're going to say hello to Julia. Hello, Julia. Oh, is that my computer talking? No. Or yours? Mine. Okay. All right. So there's Julia over here. She's getting ready to go to work. Are you riding your moped? I am. Okay. Julia has a moped. All right, I need to get some light in here, and I need to wipe down this counter. I also need to go get your pedestal so you can see, so I don't have to keep talking to you like this. So hold on. That first week, I went through three boxes. Yeah, but like this past weekend, we haven't needed to. Right. Okay, you guys. Hi. Back in the kitchen. I'm. Do I need to turn on this light for you guys? Because I. How does it look to you, Julia? It Is it dark? No. It's not dark. Okay. Um. I wanted to check. Who is it? I wanted to check out. Oh. Somebody got a new profile. 4K's We Love Rain has a new profile picture, and I wanted to check that out before I did anything else. So, da -da 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 -da. Tata, it's funny how rarely I go outside and use a brightening face mask twice a week. Hope I don't end up looking like the color of paper. What are you talking about? <laughs> ah, peace of mind, Lee. I give up on the rookies who are trying to grow. Anyone knows you need a lar larger channels to promote you and expose you to their communities. Ah, I cannot get through. Oh, I get what you're trying to say, B lady. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. But don't give up on me. All right, where am I? Passion for hunting and fishing. Lemon juice or orange juice, correct. Okay, so I wanted to go to... Where is she? 4K, hi, there's her profile picture. I'm looking at your profile picture, um, 4K. Oh! So cute! I love that! Yay! I love that, if I can tell, it's nat you have your natural hair out. I love natural hair. Okay, so I'm gonna stop messing around here. I know. Um, let's get down to business. We have a little bit of pie left. I need to wash down the counter and put some things away and we'll get to work, I promise. So, Please feel free to share out the live so I can get more in here. You know, B-Lady, I'll say this. I think that folks are not concerned about growing. I, I'll just say this last thing. I don't think folks are concerned about growing their numbers. I think they're concerned about making sure they get their hours. But it's a lot easier to grow hours if you have the numbers, right? Um, yesterday I was a little bit frustrated. I would have liked to have stayed, stayed on longer because as soon as I got to, I think it was 19 people in the house, it was time to go over to your channel, which was fine. I was happy to send them over to you, but it was a little bit frustrating. You know, how do I grow and let folks go? So it's, I'm not complaining. I had a good, it was a nice hour, sorry. It was a nice hour online, uh, but then they need to check out the older established channels and how they bring down on they bring down on YouTube. Okay, so B lady, let's do this. You and I need to have a conversation. I'd like to have that conversation outside of this live stream so that we can really get into it. You know really get into it so that 
um, I'm not guessing, and, and you can, we can have a straight conversation about this because it's interesting. And I think you're right on many levels. I know B ladies like, no, I'm right on all levels. <laughs> you know, I love you. Okay. All right, so I had to clean this surface because we're going to be working with this. And um, I didn't want I didn't want you to get guys to see the jelly and all the stuff I left there from the other day. Hello, hello, who came in? Somebody else came in. I'm up around 125 people now. Great. I'm concerned about getting monetized. So am I. So we need to make sure. Hi. I, I need to not be a squirrel right now. Uh, yeah, I'm concerned about getting monetized at some point. I think I'm going to get there. I haven't checked my hours, but I think yesterday I did well. I know I did much better the day before. Links Acres, you're here. Good. One Peaceful Mind. Alicia's here. Be Lady. Yes. Yes. And who else came in? Angela Critters. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in. I wanted to do something here. Alyssa, I am going to make you a moderator. Um, but have you ever moderated a channel before? So if you haven't moderated a channel before, um, before you click on those three dots and try just, just watch how moderators do it. Uh, you know, I just wanted to make sure people see you in that blue. Okay. First thing I need to do, guys, is get some jars. And you know I've struggled with that, but you will not believe this. I'm going to take you with me. Does the internet work downstairs just yeah. as well? Oh, yeah. Okay, you guys. Remember the other day when I was like, there's not a jar in this house. I can't find a jar. You are not going to believe this. Both Julia and I just scoured the house for jars. Where are the jars? I'm never going to be able to ferment. Okay. So this, they have a, look at this. I could be choreographing down here. Look at that beautiful space. There's lots of kids stuff here. The only, the reason I don't um, work down here is it's a basement and it's cold. It's really cold. So this is their, they probably don't want me to show you this room. This is their storage room, right? Oops, some of you might have just seen the jars. Okay. This is also where they uh, uh, make their wine. So right now they are making a beautiful, I think it's a Rioja or a Cabernet. It's one of those two. It's a big five-gallon thing of wine. But we were in here, Julie and I, looking, 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 looking. Oh, all this stuff. There are no jars. There are no jars. Ha, ha, ha. All we had to do was look up. I'm going to show you where the jars are. Can you see them? They're eye level. I was doing all this. Where are the jars? <laughs> so I don't need a pint. I did some pints last year or something. I don't remember what, but these are the jars I bought last year. So I think I'm going to need, I'm probably going to need two of these. And I'll, yeah, if I need more, I'll go get more. But how ridiculous is that? I have two. My second one is more about life and whatever you want. Oh, yeah, it's One Peaceful Mind, Alicia's Handmade, and One Peaceful Mind, Alicia's Way, right? Hi. Oh, Angela Critters. I already said hello. <laughs> Hi. So good to see you all. Okay. Bye, Be Lady. Oh, Be Lady, are you leaving? One Peaceful Mind, Alicia, have it saved here. We'll be in touch. Where are you going, Be Lady? Forest Permaculture, hello, always good to see you. Are you leaving me, Bee Lady? Do you know Jessica Rabbit? I think I've met Jessica Rabbit. I will, um, I can check her out on my other computer. Jessica Rabbit? 
Oh, we're just Jessica. Sometimes we um we check out channels. Are you leaving? I'm leaving. Bye. bye. Say bye to Julia, everyone. Wave, wave. Bye, Julia. Oh. Hey. Oh, okay. Thank you. Jessica, hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Let me just make sure. I'm just going to check a couple things out. Which Jessica is this? Jessica, good to see, thank you for coming in, Jessica. Good to see you, good to meet you. Glad you're here. Uh, let me just do something. Okay. It's, the, oh, it's just Tatted Hearts. I'm on the other account. Okay. Jessica, we thank you for coming in then. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know. Let me know that when you guys have another channel. I've had um I've had some interesting visitors to my channel and they like to disrupt. So whenever somebody new with no not, um with no content comes in, we're like, huh, that's somebody to check out just to make sure we're safe, right? Just to make sure we're safe. Okay. <laughs> So, I normally don't use um, plastic, I, but I am today. I'm going to use plastic because this is not my kitchen. Uh, I might need two of these, depending on how much I make. And I'm going to take off Why? Yeah, that's a good question, Jessica. Jessica, why did, would you switch? Anyone can go to my Sunday Live, and that's the first five minutes or so, see my attitude about these folks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I totally get you. I am, I totally get you. Thank you, B-Lady. I, I appreciate that. You are... Okay, one more. We're just going to look at one more. Hello, Erikin. I don't know you either. So we're going to... I'm just going to... Delightful Dawn, hello. I'm just checking somebody out. We're gonna be we're gonna be fermenting some Napa cabbage today. And we are just doing one thing. Okay, glad so many wonderful people are coming in. Um still it's still tatted hurt. You can tell by my profile pic. But you came in somebody else. So put on. Nope. Yep. Thanks, B Lady, for taking care of stuff. You see those folks? Go ahead and do what you need to do. On my end, I will do what I need to do. So um, I'm assuming that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. So we're going to leave that alone and we're going to move on to this. So I, um, I'm going to take off this. I'm going to remove the outer leaves. I'm going to rinse those and I'm going to use the outer leaves as, um, to hold the cabbage under the, um, brine. So these I'm going to wash because they have been exposed, even though this is organic cabbage or I bought it in the organic section. These have probably been exposed to um, non-organics from the, just being in the store. So, Angela, those people, you know what to do with them. Uh, Bee Lady, I think, is doing her, her job. So, um, 
Yeah, just, you're right. I don't, we're not going to worry about that. Oh, they are? Be lady. Well, I didn't, okay. No, One Peaceful Mind, I am not making kimchi. I'm just going to do my thing here. Um, I am not making kimchi. I already blocked them. So, uh, okay. Uh, I am not making kimchi. I am making uh, for something with fermented cabbage. The reason I'm not making kimchi I don't, okay. What does that mean? No, no. I am, okay. I'm gonna, so they, okay, for some reason, okay, I'm gonna say this. They are hidden on my end. So I don't know. Uh, otherwise I have to unhide them. I have blocked them. I don't know what else to do. So I'm going to leave it alone. They should be gone. I know, right? I, okay. So they say they are someone else. You can also put an A before that name and you will see that they are also here. Right. So they are not who they said. See you around, Karen. Glad to. You know what, ZeniTube? I've done better than this. This is not my best live, but we're going to finish this out. We're going to finish this out. I'm going to get my two hours. And you guys, I really appreciate your time. We are going to rinse these because they have been exposed to other non-organics in the store. And um, we're going to use these as our, uh, to help hold the cabbage under the brine. So thank you guys for your patience. Dawn, the delightful, delightful Dawn, how are you? Thanks. Bye, Zenny, and thank you guys. Okay, so. So these are organic, like I said. They're organic, but they've been exposed to non-organics just by being in the store. Therefore, I'm going to rinse them off. Okay. Get the paper towels all the way over there. All right. Yay. Okay. So take this, save these for later. Links Acres, I don't see why not. What's going on? Links Acres, can you use other uh, leafy greens other than cabbage to hold food under? The absolutely. You absolutely can. I just use the outer leaves of the cabbage because that's what I have. And if you add, like Swiss chard, yeah. If you add other leafy greens in there, other stiff green, it'll give it a, a, it'll change the flavor profile because those greens have their own yeasts and, and bacteria, good bacteria that will help develop the flavors. So that's what I like about that idea. I just, I'm using what I have right now. And right now I'm just a bit limited in resources. Uh, salt. I will need at least two tablespoons. This is a big head. I'll need at least two tablespoons. And um, I'll do what I do with uh, regular cabbage, and that is taste it along the way. I'm getting my CSA box this Wednesday. We are getting our, Troy should be getting a um, Imperfect produce this weekend. I think we're getting a lot of beets and cabbage in there. So I'm just going to dump some in here. I'll measure it out after, um, after I cut it. So with this, you guys, I am going to, I'm going to go with some red pepper flakes. I want the 
my organic red pepper flakes, and I don't have organic ginger, but and I don't have ginger, but I can use ginger powder and that will be okay. What else do I want to add? Let's see. So what what would you think? I'm gonna add ginger, red pepper flake. It'll so that'll bring a saltiness and a savory to it. Um, I don't want to use fennel or anything like that because it might taste like sausage, and I'm not interested in sausage. So, I mean, a sausage not tastes like sausage, but you know what I'm saying. Fennel is it goes in sausage, not in not my sauerkraut. You know what? I might just expand. Uh, I might just. You didn't spray it with vinegar and clean to clean it. Um, I don't. I'm limited in my resources, but I know that since this is organic, I should be okay. Normally, I do do that. You are correct, but I do not. I don't have my apple cider vinegar here, and um, I've had successful. Uh, ferments without rinsing. So I think I'll be okay, especially if I use a tad more salt than I'm used to. So you're right about that. Um, we're going to go ahead and start slicing and putting it in here. I'm going to go with bigger slices. I think I'll turn on some light for you now. Wow, no vinegar in the household. I'm sure it is fine just showing up. Wow, no vinegar in the household. I am sure it is fine just showing that. I have, uh, Thank you. I love that. It shows as links on the iPad and it shows as two faces on my iPhone. Okay, really, that's annoying about the thumbprints. I changed it to links yesterday, but it hasn't changed on my all my. It may not change on all your devices right away. Okay, just slicing it. All right, and then I'm gonna do bigger chunks today because this. Napa cabbage, look at that, so pretty. It's a finer leaf, look at that. So we're gonna do bigger chunks, not that big. Oh gosh, that looks, that looks just beautiful. I'm excited for this. Now, I fermented uh, Napa cabbage before. I mean, it, this is an experiment. I, I have fermented it before, but um, I fermented it with regular cabbage to, because I didn't have enough regular cabbage. And I happened to have a Napa cabbage in the refrigerator, which is kind of unusual. And I noticed that with the finer cuts, when I, when I cut it with... Um, like I would regular sauerkraut, you know, super thin, it tended to, uh, it was a little bit um, limp. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I think I'm gonna, you guys, I told you this is a little bit of an experiment. So like these, I'm gonna have to cut a little bit finer. So I'll get the fine stuff out of here and leave the big chunks. All of, I'm gonna go thinner with the rest of this. So 
this I'm going to move aside because I'll put that in something else for right now. Because I'm going to have to work on this a little bit more. I'll go thinner with the with the ends of this. So this feels more like cabbage, cabbage. So I'm going to go a lot thinner. This is going to, it has a different smell than regular cabbage. There we go. We're going to save that for later, put that in something else. There's the heel of it. So. Sorry, I'm not talking to you. Sorry, not sorry. Thank you for w waiting patient. <laughs> I threw it on the floor. Thank you for waiting patiently as I'm cutting up my cabbage rather than thank you or sorry. I am not sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm throwing it all over. <laughs> okay, that is just beautiful. Now, you guys, we do that thing where we sprinkle it with salt, right? And then I put a weight on it and we go away for 10 minutes, okay? So um, I am going to use a tablespoon for this first go round. And then I'm gonna mix it all in and put a weight on it. Usually a plate with um, a plate with uh, a weight, uh, with a soup can on it. Okay. Put it this way. It'll start to release its own juices soon enough. There we go. Yes. Who's in the house? Link Sakers, my baby is yabbering so loudly I can barely hear Karen, probably because I wasn't talking loud enough. Lynx, maybe it takes a day or two to drop off. No idea. I was trying to remove my old one because of my baby's face. In it, but it, oh, I'm behind. Hike with me. Yay. Okay. B lady, I put the cabbage in salad too. Absolutely. Hello. Good to see you. Anyone put cabbage in salads? Yes, I do. Good morning, everyone. I know I'm late. Hey, um, hike with me. You're not late. You're here. And we like that. We love that. We love that you're here. Thank you for coming in. I really appreciate it. <laughs> if you feel like it, go ahead and share out the live. Um, I am making, if you don't know, a Napa cabbage sauerkraut with ginger and red pepper flake. Total experiment. Um, somebody will eat it. If I don't, someone will. If someone doesn't, I will. I am not making kimchi because that would be cultural appropriation. Because I've only had kimchi two times. And uh, I don't want to say I can make something and I don't know how to make it. Or I've never made it before. These are my sunglasses. Let's take another trip outside. I'm going to get some ice water with lemon. I know I can have ice water with lemon because it is alkalizing. It is alkalizing. I don't have fresh lemon though. That's the only problem. Let me get. We have so much in here. Jeez. The weeds. So Italian uh, organic lemon uh, organic lemon juice. Just put a couple teaspoons in there. I don't know if there's a specific amount. 
and water. Thank you for your patience while I service my thirst needs. I'll tell you what, you guys, uh, one of the reasons I can't wait to get home is so I can go back to my five o'clock live streams where I, 5.30, five o'clock, where I prep for dinner and I teach you all sorts of stuff that way. That's more, that will be fun. Hike with me. Okay. Like my husband was saying, maybe we should get a second fridge for all the fermenting stuff we're working on. You know what? We actually do have a second fridge. Lynx acres. We do. We have a second refrigerator. And thank you for sticking with me, you guys. I'm going for two hours. If you want to see more folks up in here, go ahead and share out the live. I know we already have. I know we already have. Um, but if you, many of you already have. If you haven't, go ahead and do that. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, man. I don't know when I've had a more beautiful Minnesota day. The breeze is just perfect. Look at the trees. Well, the flag is more um, indicative. Everything is just gorgeous. Oh, I think it stopped raining here. Yay! Yay for no rain. Switching back and forth is not genuine. My husband was saying maybe we should get second for, okay. What? There's this restaurant on, in British Columbia I went to that has awesome kimchi. I would love to make kimchi, you guys, but I can't. I'll go eat it. I haven't, I've only had it twice in my life. Oh. We had a puppy whining, so I think I'm headed over the other way so that I can give attention to the puppy. I'd love to sit in the sun, but puppy demands attention. Attention! Six people in the house. Six people. Loving it. You can come sit with me here. Yes, I'm going to sit on the porch right here, and you can sit with me. Amelia! Amelia! She's so cute. Okay, so we have 17 thumbs up, six people in the house. It's 102 today, hike with me. We have a cool day, only 100. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think it's going to be 82. I think it's good. You don't like lemon water? Go away. Do you need water? Hello, if you just came in the house, hello, hike with me. Wow, we're... Where are you, Cali? You know, since when is California 102 degrees or these places? Do you need water? Come on. Let's have you go inside and get some water. Oh, that's what's going on. Oh, dog. Okay, come on. Let's, let's go get some water. Oh, are you caught again? Okay, this is not a good system for you, puppy. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There you go. Okay. My hope to sit outside may not be happening. It's 55 here. Oh my God, Link Sakers. That is cold. I don't think I can sit outside because I have to be responsive to the puppy. So we'll sit in here. I will go get my water.
Yes. Would have been nice. But I have to be responsive to the puppy. The puppy deserves to be treated well. Hey, wow, my sister was going to retire, but uh, they're retired there, but changed to Florida. Seems like our neighbors, our family, also migrating to Florida. I shouldn't have been on my other channels. I should have just stuck with this channel and not switch accounts. What? Uh, tatted hearts. That was an interesting thing. Um, so you had three channels in here? Is that what, or how many? That That's interesting. I wonder why you would do that. Anyway, ooh, Florida is too humid for me. F Florida's humid for me, too. I went to British Columbia, but there isn't the work for my husband there. Want to move to British Columbia. Yeah. You are all about the dog. I have to be Alyssa. <laughs> you know, and even though this isn't my puppy, I do have to be responsive to her needs because I was the one that let her outside and put her on her chain and, or she has a lead. So, mm. yeah, Florida is hot. My, my, I'll tell you where I'd like to go. You guys is Santa Fe, New Mexico, Santa Fe, New Mexico or Durango, Colorado are my two favorite small towns in America. Well, there's a work, work in Vancouver, but it's insanely expensive to live there. Not an option. Correct. Winters are awesome here. And hike with me. You are where again? Hike with, you're in Arizona. That's right. That's right. Links 55 is chilly for this time of year. I wanted to purchase a home in Nova Scotia, but it was also far. Don't you have like, how many homes do you have, B lady? It's only three. I just wanted to see how many people would react. Why, tatted heart? That's interesting. Why would you do that? Anyway, okay. Well, I reacted. You got what you wanted. Mm. Trisha, hello. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in and saying hello. Hike with me. I'm in Phoenix area, Peoria, Arizona. I was just in Phoenix, um, not Glendale, but some other um, suburb outside of Phoenix uh, this April visiting my cousin, and I absolutely love it. You are very welcome. Thank you, Tricia. Um, I was I am fermenting some um, Napa cabbage right now. That sounds weird. If you're not into fermentation, that sounds very strange. Um, if you've ever heard of kimchi, I am not making that, but it is also fermented Napa cabbage. I am going to add uh, red pepper flakes for the heat and some ginger for some warmth so that we can have, a, you know, an interesting Napa cabbage. Deleted by Nightbot. Why did, oh, hike with me. Sorry, Nightbot says too many, okay. Show. Sure. Okay, tatted, oh, too many emojis. Um, I don't know. Also, you read that comment wrong. I should should have not switched channels. I didn't read, did I read that wrong? I'm sorry. Okay. So, yeah, just keep, if you're in a, if you're in a chat, um, it's, I think it's best to stay in the chat with the same channel. It just, it's less confusing for the host. And for the moderators. So, links, I know we got rented one, an RV. Whoa, where'd that go? Rented an RV uh, and took our children all through it for three weeks. It was amazing. I, would, I should make a slideshow and put it up. You certainly should. I'm not commenting on anyone switching channels. You all know what I think about that. Thank you, B-Lady. I don't, I, I don't appreciate that uh, in that it's confusing for me. That's all tatted heart. I, I, I just didn't know. Right. Okay. All right. So Trisha's motivational moments is in the um, house and she's saying hi to B lady. We're, I'm so, I feel honored Trisha that you're here. I, uh, every, you know, while I was teaching this year, 
it got to be pretty rough, but I would go into your channel early in the morning when I got to school and it would just make my day. So if you guys, I know all of you know Trisha. If you don't, please get over to her channel. Um, she helps you understand the world from a spiritual perspective and uh, gives you advice about how to um, how to survive some of these life situations. Where are, yeah, where is Alyssa? Today I'm going to, it's going to be, oh, she's up in um, Northwest, the Northwest. So where are you? Or uh, not Washington State. Alyssa, where are you? Are you Washington State or are you Oregon? I forget. Anyway, nice and cool there. You know, Minnesota has some of the most inclement weather in the United States. Because it, we have the extremes. Um, the only thing we don't have is extreme dryness because we have well more than ten thousand lakes, but they say ten thousand lakes. So I'm gonna check this out. Okay, so Minnesota weather. So today we are at eighty right now. Humidity is fifty four. Precipitation is zero today. Yes. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain, Wednesday it's supposed to rain, Thursday it's supposed to rain, Friday it's supposed to rain. That's Minnesota. And the warmest we're going to get is uh, Monday at noon, we will be 90 degrees. So today is, it, it will get up there. It's going to get up to 87, but it's not going to be bad. We had drought all over Alberta. DIY Lifestyles, hello, thanks for coming in. I love DIY lifestyles. You guys, if you don't know DIY, I'll, I'll share something about his channel here in a second. Hold on. So DIY lifestyles does stuff. Um, let's see his about. Uh, his about, I, I have watched his channel. I forget. This is, his channel is in, um, what language do you speak, DIY? I forget what language. Yeah, I know, Nightbot. Kind of be careful with that. You guys, be careful with your emojis uh, because Nightbot will time, will time you out at, if you use more than four. So DIY is about growing his channel right now, it looks like. So that's good. That's nice. Make sure um, DIY... As you're in here, please make sure that it, as you are networking, please make sure that you do it the right way. Everybody knows this. You need to watch a video, the video, a video in, an, in its entirety if you can. You need to make a comment on that video, about that video, about that video. So the person knows that you actually watched it. And then you need to subscribe and ring the bell. Otherwise, it's not going to count. So make sure you do that. Okay. DIY. As you're working the folks in here, right? Make sure you're doing it right. I really appreciate you coming in. So, Lynx, maybe she moved herself. You know, the scooch movement. What are we talking about? I think my toddler moved my baby. She was on her play mat to my side. Now she's on the other side of my kitchen. <laughs> Woo, you know, I never had children. And that kind of thing would probably freak me out. And just a reminder, Nightbot says, live, love, and learn. And she's not quite there. Is Please thumbs up the live. Thank you, B-Lady. I appreciate it. B lady, we gotta talk later, just um, so we can. Um, I wanna, I wanna be, I want to be in the same headspace you are, so that we can move together, move forward together. Cause I think yeah, you're right about a ton of things. Uh, yes, children are interesting, very interesting, right? Laugh out loud, 4K. Yep. Mm -hmm. So DIY, you still here? 
I hope you heard what I said at D I. Yep. Oh, dirty broke. Is dirty broken here? Are you lurking dirty broke? Hello. Stella is your child. She, she sure is. And I guess Amelia is my adopted child. Hello at dirty broke. Since you're not saying anything, I'm going to call you out. Did he say something? Did I miss him? Because I put in his at and suddenly Dirty Broke came up. Dirty, are you just lurking in the background? Dirty Broke. Gotta love me some Dirty Broke. Oh my gosh. Nightbot just went to town on hike with me. Durango is amazing, but uh, too many people there. I don't think so. Why is Nightbot deleting you? I'm in Phoenix area, Peoria, Arizona. I'm going to have to go. I'm mad at Nightbot. I saw when you were hike with me timed up. I, I'm just not understanding why Nightbot is after you. Okay. When our grandson was four months old, he was moving by inching the best he could, then rolling uh, or other mo new moves that were unique. Oh, Dirty Broke's gone? Okay, I missed him. Anyway, um, I uh, I was that baby, you guys. I, I would have been terrified if I was my mother. I was that baby that scooched for a little bit and then one day pulled herself up and ran. I, I never crawled. I just ran. I ran and fell, ran and fell, ran and fell, ran and fell. And I just, my mom tells that story like she couldn't, it was really hard to contain me because I would, yeah, I know um, she's four months old. Just wait, six months, she's going to be running. Um, uh, uh, B lady, I know I can change it. I just keep forgetting to, but he, it's timing people out for no reason right now. Hey, we're at the 10 minute mark for the, um, for the cabbage. So let's see where we are. I'm going to get some um, gloves on. It's starting to look a little wet. You can see it shining a little bit, so it's time to massage it. Be later. Be later. Okay. Yeah, this is a little bit, it feels a little bit different, but a um, little bit different than, than regular cabbage, but it's a little more spongy feeling, which it would make sense because I cut it into chunks. So, but it is starting to release some of its own brine, getting a few drops out of there. I don't know if you can see that. There are a few drops coming out. Let's see if I can do it this way. Yeah, see that? That's good. That's what we want. Yeah. Yeah, and I think this is all going to fit in one quart jar. So I am going to add a bit more salt. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Yep, we're only going to need one jar for this. So let's move this back here. Hmm. I think the ginger is going to do that a favor. I'm going to add just a bit more salt. I don't feel good about having less than two tablespoons. Sorry. Pardon me. Not sorry. Less than two tablespoons because I feel like it's, um, the salt inhibits the bad bacteria. So put these, took these gloves off. Now I need to put them back on. Once we get the second round of salting done. 
I'll add in my flavoring and we'll stuff it into a jar. This is really, I'm just going to let that sit. Get this back on here. Press that down. There we go. Oh, this is going to be good. This will be very good. Alyssa, hike with me. That plate is one of the Corel's first designs in the 60s. Correct. This is, um, so I'm at uh, my friend Gail's house, um, and this is her mother's, this is her mother's, um, these are her mother's dishes. That kind, the kind that looked like the A-frame that they have to hold on to the, Okay, let me back up. Oh, wow. Four months old, four months old. I keep, you guys, you're moving in the chat so fast. Links, we got him a walker, yay. Links, we just had grand, we just had grandparent fun. Excellent. Nightbot says, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Yeah, walkers are illegal in Canada. What? $100,000 fine and some time in prison for the use of or sale of one. That is intense. Um, I rolled after my car accident and then started walking around three years of age. Wow, that play just went, yep, from the 60s. I watched your video about your accident. What actually happened to your body? Spinal damage? That's a good question. I got to watch that one. I recognize it from back then. Yes, yes. Uh, I know, right? I think my mom had some too. That kind of looked like an A-frame. The sit in the ones are, oh, the sit in the ones are banned. Wow, that is interesting. Certainly, a, Bruce Napier, thank you for coming in. Hello, good to see you. The walkers cause tons of bad injuries, especially head injuries from falling downstairs and also burns from being able to reach stoves. Wow, I don't know if uh, the United States would care that much. I mean, we have so many regulations, I'm surprised they don't, but... Um, interesting. The Walker. Okay. I have the green Daisy and it looks second design they made. I had the pink with hearts. It was the 1982 version. I finally got rid of them. I donated them to, um, Goodwill. And I found that they had, uh, probably 500 different <laughs> Corel designs. Yes. Bruce Napier is here. I'm so happy. Thank you. Oh, Water with them. Bruce, if you don't know, we are fermenting some Napa cabbage. Um, we started the ferment with uh, cutting it up and salting it and letting it sit, and we're squeezing the natural brine out of it. Then we're going to put in some red pepper flake and ginger, because I think that would taste good. Yes, too many people left the basement stairways open, and the kids walked down the steps. That just sounds, um, it's just, you know, these are things that I, I'll tell you when I had to concern myself with stuff like that was when, after my mom had her stroke and she was in a wheelchair, she couldn't speak. She could, had no use of the left side of her body, the right side of her body, the right side of her body. Um, and, uh, she would roll herself past the down uh, the base basement stairs, which had no door, it had no gate, none of that. So it was uh, quite quite the darn it, come on. I'm looking at my other computer trying to get stuff done. But um, it was quite quite frightening because she also had, uh, her peripheral vision was impacted. So there was one time I was going with her in her wheelchair and she started to drift and didn't even know she was drifting because her head was this way. And had I not grabbed that wheelchair, I would have had a dead mother. She would have been down the steps. So um, I get that. Okay, Bruce, I just, Bruce, I want to, 
I wanted to see, not Bruce, I wanted to see Bruce, okay. Bruce, you're, you, I, I forgot, you were, you're a YouTube watcher, right? I always forget. I, I, I want to, when people come in, I want to go to their channel, and then I, I go to your channel, it's like, I forgot, he's, he's a watcher. And Alyssa, I wanted to make sure I put watch later on your, um, on your newest video. Thanking all my friends for being there on YouTube. I saw that one. The craft room, I saw that one. In the heat, a new poem. I saw that one. My life, empty hand. Which one is it that shows first video at home, relaxing at home? I'll get, uh, you know what? I Here, Alyssa, this is what I'll do. I am just going to run your play all because then I can see everything and then I don't have to guess. Be watching but couldn't post. My internet is wonky today. Hello, Alyssa. Uh, yes. Our daughter-in-law's pediatrician told her that they were good for making the leg muscles. Yes, for standing up and, yeah. Oh, so speaking of fermenting, my book talks about Russian kvass from rye. Yes, Chinese samshu from wheat, banjo from sorghum, South American and African corn beer, Brazilian sweet potato beer. Yep. Um, uh, the original kvass is from, the original Russian kvass is from, um, is made out of stale rye bread. Um, I have never made traditional kvass. I've only made beet kvass. Uh, beet kvass came into being because beets were cheap and it was easy to make a, f a fermented drink. Got to run hike with me. I'll check with the Napa cabbage later. Peace to you, my dear. Thank you for coming in. I really appreciate it. I really do. We're going to, we just have 10 more minutes on the, the, that process, and then we can move on to stuffing, it, seasoning it and stuffing it in jars. Might actually be, um, you know what? I'm going to do this. I don't want, I forgot to add this other in there because I got to talking. So I am going to, I'm not going to worry about this being big chunks. I think that the, the Napa cabbage is soft enough that it won't make a difference. This has enough brine in it that it will start to affect this right away. So this has shrunk down to almost nothing. So let's get this in there, even with those big chunks. So I'm just going to, I think this will be fine. That will give it a little more um, uh, heft, give a little bit more heft. We're so close. Look at this. Do you see that? That is going to be good. And we're only going to need one jar for that whole cabbage. For that whole cabbage. Oh, my goodness. We got that going on. I'm going to put this lid back on so we can get those bigger pieces. There we go. Fermenting. Give it, I'll give it seven more minutes and then we'll go right into that jar. All right. Sorry about that. Nope. Nope. Thank you. I'm trying to get rid of that habit. Thank you for having patience with me as I, I sanitize my jar and forgot to tell you what I was doing over there. I had some sanitizing liquid. I squirted it in there and I uh, poured some water in there, rinsed out, and there you go. It's sanitized. So thumbs up, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. I have 20 thumbs up, which is good. Um, I need to get, 
I would like to get 25 thumbs up before I'm done, which is a half hour. So if you haven't already and you wish to do so, you may, sh you may share out the live. I'm going to share it again, tell people I'm still here. Uh, and maybe we can get more people in here for the last half hour. So thank you so much for being here, you guys. You mean everything to me. We are still here. Come on over to network. I do miss my five o'clock time when I had 25 people in here. Network and chat. But nine is good because I've gotten to know uh, you guys a lot better. Um, and it, we're still here to come on over network and chat. Yep. Um, I, sometime I'd like to, to do what B lady was talking about is some sort of collab where we can, we can share each other's, um, share each other's subscribers, you know, get people in here, more people, AKA rainbow angel. There is so much new stuff out there for instance if you have ever chat with blind mama's kitchen the way she participates you would never know she was blind that is so it's blind mama's kitchen is that what you're saying sounds good oh no i don't want to leave sight what's going on here oh my book talks about wild fermentation hard apple cider and controller fermentation what is um what's controller ferment fermentation that sounds interesting i've never heard of that B lady, I don't have an implant in my head. It's a plastic plate. And I will talk about that in my video. Alyssa, I'm wondered because new implants for nerve damage in the back. So folks can now use hands. Cool. Just trying to keep up with the chat, you guys. So, um, other things to talk about. I finally got this is finally got my contract signed for uh, Northern Light Opera Company. I had left it at home, and payday is today. And if I don't get that contract in today, I don't get paid. My fault. <laughs> and I'm not up here suffering in such a good good way that. Uh, to not get paid. So Lynx Acres, it says to add champagne yeast. Oh, is that for, uh, is that for the hard apple cider? Um, I have heard of that. I have heard of that. Alyssa, no, I meant that they have implants now for damaged nerves to help folks use hands and legs. I was not asking if you had an implant. Sorry if you thought that. Yeah. All right, folks, I think we need four more minutes on that. I have, um, I'm, I just forgot what I was going to say. I would love to go back outside and enjoy the weather, but I can't leave the dog in here. And she gets, keeps getting, uh, wrapped up with her thing. I could let her go and run. No, that would be bad. That's irresponsible. So you guys, um, the other day I was, uh, I was live streaming after my bike ride. Some of you saw it with my hair, like <laughs> be lady. Yes. Pippi long stocking. Right. <laughs> um, and I found, I, it was really nice. I found that, um, that idea of grounding and getting back into nature was, um, was really really helpful for my health and well-being. Grounding. Not only did I get out there and bike hard, bike fast, and I was in the woods biking, but I also got off my bike and stuck my feet in the grass, hoping there weren't any wood ticks. And feeling that grass on the bottom of my feet, and it was amazing, probably because I was pretty conscious of it, but it was amazing how that felt like it was changing me from the inside out. And I think it's that I think it's the idea of the ions and the energy from the earth infiltrating 
because there's no barrier between the shoes. There's no barrier between the shoes and my foot, but the, the whatever the earth has to offer entering through my feet and and bringing me back down to earth. I think that's I think what that's what they mean by grounding that you are connecting again and not just being in nature but touching nature and we oftentimes forget that and so yesterday I also before or after I live streamed I also went for another bike ride and I did the same thing oh your hollyhocks are blooming they are biannual are they pretty do you have a are you going to show that on a video? So I know that Bee Lady believes in that because she moved out of the city. And Lynx Acres, I think you're in the country too. So you guys have the opportunity to really understand this. I, I am not that I'm new to nature at all. I'm not new to nature. Hmm. Lupines. What are lupines, be lady? I'm not new to nature at all. I just, as as I aged, I've had less opportunity to get myself into nature. Um, and during the school year, I see nothing but cement walls. So I think I am much more attuned to that experience of feeling that connection and being surprised by it. Be lady, that is, I think that's what we are meant to do. I think we're supposed to be doing stuff like that, staying connected to the earth, staying connected to our environment, and not necessarily in the cement walls. Like I said, during the school year, all I see is the cement wall, the snow, and the in four sides of or, uh, my house. I, I never, getting outside this winter was almost, was almost impossible, mostly not because I couldn't get out, but I didn't have the, I didn't have, I actually didn't have the clothes to be outside for long. Um, I have my long johns and all that. So connecting with nature this year was darn near impossible. I was clueless about lupines until we went to Nova Scotia and with beautiful flower, you can see them online. Okay, yes. So your school does not have lawns or flowers. Uh, nope. As a matter of fact, they had a beautify campaign where they put, we do have, B lady, I won't say that. We do have a boulevard with grass and the uh, a group of, um, parents got together and built up some um, beds near the side of the school. It's literally, our school looks like a prison um, near the side of the school that have, that has um, some bushes and trees in it. But we get to see those two weeks out of the year on either side, maybe a little bit more, but then also I start, here's, here's where the kicker is. I start rehearsal immediately within within a week of school starting i start rehearsal and i'm at in that school from um i'm in that school from 6 15 until 5 30 every night and that is almost every night until the end the end of the dance concert wow our schools have outside play fields for gym nope absolutely not um Remember, I'm in a high school, so we don't have a play field. We have a uh, we have a football field that has artificial turf. That's it. Um, so I I think that's why I when I was listening to that program on NPR about you know getting grounded, getting in nature, I was like, wow, that's another thing I'm missing because you know I'm missing a lot. That's another thing I'm missing. Oh, I think we're ready. Um, so I, I am going to, for the rest of the summer, for sure, for the rest of the summer, I'm going to get out every day, either get on my bike or whatever, but I'm certainly going to be barefoot in some water or on some grass. 
So let's get this going, guys. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to put these back. These can go over here. Here is my sanitized jar. And I need, where is the, there it is. Okay. We will need this. I think you guys are going to be surprised how much liquid actually comes out of this. Sometimes I am in awe that it releases so much of its own brine. Look at that. We are not going to have to make a brine or anything. I'll get a little bit closer so you can see. Back it up a little bit. Look at this. Right? Even those bigger chunks are are doing well. They're already, yep. They've already wilted. Good. Okay, so let's get to stuffing, you guys. Oh, wait, no, let's flavor. Ah! Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I'm going to add, I want it to be... Oh. I want it to be a little bit spicy, so about a tablespoon. I think that'll be exciting. Exciting! And give it some of that savory flavor. About a tablespoon of ginger. I have no idea what this is going to taste like, but I think I'm going to like it. Oh, it smells good. Mmm. Wonder if I should add a touch of sugar. Let's see. Mmm. Oh my, that's special in a good way. That ginger. It'd be great if I had fresh ginger, but I don't. So that'll be just fine. Okay. Let's do this. I don't have a pounder, so I'll have to find something to use, but we'll get this in here. Let me see if I can find something to pound with. I'm gonna have to do two heads next time. strain this I think I want that for something else oh this is going to be good this is going to be delicious Strain this one more time and then we'll strain it back. Back in here. Get all that stuff off of there. You guys, it tastes Asian, but not. It, it's savory and salty and a little bit of that heat. It certainly hasn't bloomed though. The heat hasn't bloomed for sure. There we go. Normally I wouldn't use a metal strainer, but um, we don't have any probiotics started in there yet, so. There we go. 
All right, so for the cabbage leaf, let me move this closer so you can see. So we are going to shove, I think it would be better if I rip this. Okay, put a little bit of brine in there. We're gonna press this down over the top, get that brine to come out. Do the same with the stiff piece. Okay, do that again. This is going to be good. I can tell. I can I can smell it, and I just think it's going to be really good. I am not going to use a fermentation weight on top of this because this is stiff enough, and it'll hold it down. And I don't have a fermentation weight here, so we're just going to go with what we have and I believe it'll be okay. So let's put the rest of that brine on there. So if the upper leaves float up, that's okay. Um, uh, they may get some calm yeast, they may, but it won't penetrate. I have four layers of big leaves down there. So I think we're gonna be okay. All right, folks. I need to go get a fermentation lock and I'll be right back. So you can look at that beautiful sauerkraut. Okay, forgot to put this back in there. Thank you for the six of you that are still here. I really appreciate it. I am gonna try to do better live streams and, and hype it up, get it, get it prepared, get us in here earlier, or get folks interested earlier so we can have not only just to learn how to do, but, but we are able to network. I'm really pleased that you stuck it out with me so far. We have 13 minutes. Wait. We have 10, 13, less than 13 minutes left. If you can just stick with me for 10 more minutes or 13 more minutes, I would really appreciate it. Okay, so inside, I forgot to show you this. Inside this, you will have a, um, a rubber ring. This uh, makes it airtight. And I have to get some water in here. There we go. So there's my nice, right? I do want to move uh, move yesterday my plan. Okay, you guys are still talking. All right, so let me see what's going on in the chat. Cabin life with Glenn and Maureen. Hello, that is good advice about finding land. Okay, cabin life has been here for a while. I apologize for not seeing you. I was in the process of getting the the fermented cabbage, uh, Napa cabbage going. So seriously depressed for a couple of weeks. Okay, I have to back up. Cabin life, uh, people need to, uh, to touch real green grass and walk in the forest to relieve stress and hello. Kicking it with Karen. True, true, and thank you. Um, I was actually serious depressed for a couple of weeks after I realized I just couldn't afford to even buy acreage. Cabin Life, hello, Bee Lady Lynx. You are restricted to one area, Lynx Acres. For my, for my husband's job, we need to be around certain cities 
or towns, which are larger ones where price is always more expensive. Be Lady Lynx. Uh, well, that doesn't help. 4K love. Bye, everyone. Till next time. Thank you for sticking it out. Cabin Life 4K, yes. Uh, Be Lady Lynx, one, um, one idea is to just go online and set up a search within an area and let it send you emails every day about land. Put in your prices, etc. Good idea is how we found our land in Florida. Live, love, and learn, Nightbot says. Uh, yes, that is a good advice. Well, we just bought our our place in town. You can see a part of my backyard in my rain video on my, uh, yes. Plan to keep it up, keep it for a couple of years while the babies grow up a bit. You're not obligated to anything. You have no stress about pouring over stuff daily. Thank you guys for, uh, Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you guys for uh, putting up with me, watching, trying to catch up with the chat. Uh, links, the more land, the more work, LOL. Ah, yes, I'm here for the long haul. Karen, thank you. Alyssa, links, uh, old for farmers, grow corn, looks amazing. Karen, uh, be like, okay, true, I'm wanting a lot of not bearing trees too. I wish to make it all self-supporting farm. Excellent. Actually, the goal is to have a farm provide a full-time income eventually. That sounds great. Here in the States, if you rent a farm, if you rent to a farmer, it is maybe $20 an acre, but you get a huge tax credit with no taxes. Uh, good. Okay, you guys. We have nine minutes left. I wanted to show you this. It's, I think it's gonna turn out great. It has a wonderful flavor. I'm glad you're talking about land. I also wanna show you the other uh, sauerkraut. I know we checked on it the other day, but let's check on it again. So this one is doing really well and it should be ready. I don't know if you can see all the bubbles, but it should be ready in, Angela Critters has 29 acres. Should be ready shortly. I think it's gonna be good. Usually uh, in at home it takes about four, four weeks for sauerkraut, but it's, um, Angela, this is this is uh, actually a uh, red uh, red cabbage. So this is going to be a red sauerkraut. I'm really excited about that. And then we have the we just did today the ginger and red pepper flake. So I'll put these both up here. I'm going to taste this soon, probably tomorrow, and I'll taste that one next week. Yay, so we have nine minutes left. Do I dare go outside and leave the puppy inside? Where is the puppy? Oh, she, you guys, she's so cute. She's just asleep. So they let their animals on the couch, which is fine. Oh, now I woke her up. They let their animals on the couch. Who's a good puppy? good I let we let Stella on the couch too so yes be lady we have herds we have three day old fawn and sar within oh man okay let's see you're talking about land talking about land. we could afford to buy a place in the middle of nowhere in Manitoba but then my husband had no outside job available boo what size jar, jars are those? Thank you for asking, Lynx Acres. That is a quart size jar. And a quart size jar held, uh, half of it held, held a whole nap of cabbage. The only thing we didn't put in was the heel. So we didn't put in the heel of the nap of cabbage. Um, and we have two big leaves left for something else I make ferment later. Casey Detox Diva, um, how are you? We're, uh, thank you for coming in. I really appreciate it. Let me see if I can, I'm going to, darn it. 
There, sorry about that, Link's Acres. You should buy a Channel C2 latest playlist. Okay, I'm sorry I missed your live. I was actually digging in the dirt in my garden, which is exactly what we were talking about just a minute ago, that how you really need to get your feet in it. Um, I was, or your hands. I was, uh, my whole mood was transformed the other day after I went for my bike ride in the woods and then I took my shoes off and walked barefoot through the grass. It was unbelievable. So um, just wanted to show you this detox, uh, Casey, wanted to show you this. This, is a, this will be a fermented Napa cabbage, very similar to a sauerkraut, but it, will, it has ginger and red pepper flake as its flavoring. And I think it's going to be really good. I think it's going to be really good. Um, I decided not to do kimchi because I don't know how to make it, number one. Number two, I've only had kimchi two times, and it seems a little bit like cultural appropriation if I try to make some, um, some uh, kimchi. Now, if I have been, as I, I've eaten, okay, I've eaten sauerkraut all my life, and um, I guess there's some German in my background. German, Swedish, and Norwegian. What a surprise. It's Minnesota. Um, and so I, I feel like it is thoroughly and 100% okay for me to make sauerkraut because it's a part of my heritage. And I think it's okay for you to try to make things that are outside of your cultural heritage. However, if you're trying to teach about making something, oh man, that was spicy. Teach about making something um, that is outside of your cultural experience and you haven't had much experience with it. I, I think that's cultural appropriation. I don't think it's right. So, nope, I did not make kimchi. Not that you were asking, but I just wanted to make that clear to anybody who was still wondering. Lynx, you have another deleted mes message by Nightbot. What are you doing? Oh, too many exclamation points. <laughs> I got to get back in there and tell Nightbot some, some, a few things because it's crazy. So you guys are saying hello to each other. That's great. While I was trying to... Uh, while I was trying to, or while I was stuffing the jar, you guys had such an interesting conversation about land and acreage and all of that. I, I'm really happy that you had that opportunity to do that. I don't know if you would have just spontaneously done that uh, before. I just love your chant. Thank you, KC. I really appreciate that. All right. So now we're in the last little bit. Um, I just want to let folks know that I have two devices open. If you would like me to run your playlist, uh, a playlist or your play all, um, now is the time to say me, please. Uh, I just, I'm finishing, I think I'm still working on Alyssa here. Alyssa, I'm already, I'm on your, Alyssa has good, the perfect length video. She has, she has a variety of videos, but Alyssa, I should probably be done with your playlist by mid afternoon. So anybody please. Oh, okay. Link Sakers, you got it. Hello, Alyssa. Anybody else? So I'm going to run Link Sakers. Um, let me put you on that list so that I keep reminding myself. Hope you can still see me. Okay, so drive. I'm just going to make sure I have to click off of some people that I already am. YouTube statistics run playlists. Okay, so um, there are people that I've already run, and I just want to keep a list of them. So running new, I'm running Alyssa Kerwood. I am running, um, I'm going to run Lynx Acres. And if anybody, if you are so inclined, where am I? If you guys are so inclined, please feel free to check out my playlists, run them, 
I only have the one video I made. Only run the others if you're interested. I'll run them all. Give you some time. Come on, girl. Only one question for it. What do you use for editing? Um, you guys are, or or Lynx Acres. There are. There's. Um, I use iMovie. I'm gonna go up to the professional one after I get monetized. Or maybe before if I make enough um, creative money here soon. Um, so uh, I use iMovie. The other popular one I see out there is KineMaster, K-I-N-M-A-S-T-E-R. I think it's one word. What, uh, B Lady, what do you use for editing? The other videos are playlists I made of videos from other channels, so you don't think it gives me any watch. I have a playlist because they are really, oh, okay. Um, Mama Goonie, you're not late. I'm about to end here, but you came in. Mama Goonie, I think I finished your, uh, I think I finished your playlist finally. <laughs> wow! Took a while, but that's all right. I have fun. Um, you use Muvavi. Right. Now I am using Muvavi. How is Muvavi working for you, uh, B Lady? It looks like it works well. <laughs> well, yeah. Hello, Mama Goonie. Yes, everybody. Mama Goonie is here. She stepped up in the house. Mama Goonie, just so you know, I know you're you're in you're in Colorado. Is that true? I have an iOS MacBook Pro. So do I. That's what I'm on right now. Hello, Mama Goonie. New Mexico. New Mexico. Okay. So, Mama Goonie, I am just just letting you know, putting it out there. I am live streaming every day. It would be, I think, 8.30 your time. I'm not sure. I think you're an hour behind me. I don't think you're two hours. Please thumbs up. Thank you. Um, and I really, today was a good live stream. I had fun. I really want to get some folks up in here um, during... During the school year, I go, you know, I go live at 5, 5.30 so that I can make, you know, prep dinner, which is much more fun for me. Um, and uh, it's it's so cool to have so many people in there, just like your live streams late at night. Uh, but I also want to let you, Mama Goonie, let you know Mountain Standard Time. So I think you're an hour behind me. Where are you? And I'm uh, Central oh, Watch Time. I'm... I think I just I just looked at it. And I am a little bit, yeah, I'm 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 not nervous about it. I I really would like to make sure that Oh my god, you mean I didn't I didn't. Okay. Let's see. Watch time. Sorry, let's not sorry. Let's go to Creator Studio. Whatever it seems like whatever um Whatever, uh, sorry guys, brain, whatever YouTube says, I always have like 15 hours more, but I'll go off of what YouTube says. YouTube says I have 1738, which I think is what I had. I think that's right about correct. Okay, YouTube statistics. I have my, um, come on. Sorry, guys. Okay. Ah, see, they're 40 hours behind what I have. 1738. Yesterday, I my uh, statistics said I had 1773. If you only want a certain clientele, a.k.a. you will only support certain channels, you will only support... You may have to be more, more difficult time or just getting numbers, just saying. Not just saying. Give me the advice. Don't say just saying. Just saying. That's like saying I, you don't have to listen to me. I would like to listen to you. So these days, folks will only follow you if you follow back.
That is the grind. Right, right. I'm not worried about my followers. I'm not worried about my followers. I'm getting them. I'm getting the ones that, uh, you know, I want. So I'm just worried about watch time and getting there. So, okay, if you look at your analytics and see where are your highest viewerships, the grind is get out there and get folks and be sure they get you back for, for amount of folks. Yes, correct. Those folks run your list. Correct. Correct. That's why, I mean, I've got a bunch of folks I trust. Yeah, but that tactic doesn't work very well. I follow you if you follow me because many of those people will follow you once they get you, will unfollow you. Um, yeah, I agree with that. I'm just, you know, I am I was talking to Gil Skills, you guys. Um, I was talking to Gil Skills and uh, also a couple other folks. I forgot who. But, oh, yeah, uh, it was um, Iron Dog 63. And it's about – and Cab – I've gone into – I started today with Cab 7. I love Cab 7. So I um, I love Cab 7 too. I drop them like it's hot. <laughs> okay. So I, the thing is um, for me is to get those watch hours. He's, it was, it was Iron Dog. It's like consistently work for those watch hours. Go for those watch hours. Um, the followers will come. Um, but I'm already, he's like, I, well, I'm already at my thousand beyond that. I know I should keep getting more and more and more. And I'm, I'm working on that, but really I want to get to my, um, my 4,000 watch hours and continue to grow my, my, uh, follower base, um, continue to grow that, but not as frantically as before. I'm, I want to be very careful about who I bring in. You know what I'm saying? Because I want like Casey Detox. She just found me. I found her. I know it's going to be a good experience because we both are about something to do with health and well-being. Mama Goonie is, is just funny. And I she knows I'm going to be there with her. Alyssa knows I'm going to be there with her. We These are the people I want. So I'm careful about that. I have some folks that um, pop in every now and then. Dirty Broke, he pops in. I missed him again. He's gonna when I go into his live stream, he'll say you miss me. But he was here, so you know what I'm saying. I've been around, and I I need you to street. I've been monetized for a very long time, and I can tell you that I've been around all I all I'll need you to street. For a very, very long time. What does that mean? Mama Guni, Casey Detox is awesome. Yes, I agree. I don't know what you're trying to say there, Casey, about I need you to street. Uh, what are you trying to say? Oh, you repeat. Okay. My hours were going nowhere when I was in all these watch places and now went back up. And they have me. So where are you going? Um, what are you doing, B lady? That's so successful. I'm not. I, I want to know. Sorry, I took my message away. They were. Casey, help me. <laughs> Three wheels and block. Hey, the B lady. Casey, I've been on these YouTube streets for some years, and I've been monetized for a very long time. So I know they was faking a run in one stream, AKA they do not have the equipment, et cetera, to push out like we in the core are. Yeah. Okay. Like I have five devices. I have five devices I can run people's stuff from. Now the other day, I do believe that people followed through because I got 91 hours. And for me, that's a lot. Hope you are well. I am. I'm not ignoring you, three wheels in a block. How are you? Thank you for coming in. I'm actually about to end the stream soon, but we we're talking about just some strategies to get some, some uh, to grow our channels. So are you still working the Facebook group? Mama Goonie, 
every now and then, but I had a, an experience where I had, I had one person like stalking my Facebook page and then stock kept emailing me, emailing me. So I, I, I'm just backed off for a while. I'll get back into that. Um, so I'm, you know, we're getting there slowly, but surely, slowly, but surely. I believe in the turtle, the tortoise. I mean, I believe in being the tortoise. No worries. It's about, it's a tough YouTube world. The channels trying to eat each other. So it is very challenging. Three wheels in a block. And there are some mean people on, on YouTube. But I, you know, thankfully I had an experience early on um, when doing live streams and things like that where I felt, uh, I felt, I, I, I really was taken aback, but now I'm not taken aback by that. You know, I know I'm, I'm starting to figure out how to protect myself or I figured out how to protect myself. And things are, I found more supportive than mean. I found more supportive than, okay. So what are you saying there? I found more support than mean, thank goodness. Yeah, I found much more support. I had a moment where people were mean. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to protect myself, all that. Who cares now? You know, I start to see the the, the signs and I, I my, my whole thing is not to be reactionary. Um, when I see something funky going on, somebody, what was it? I think somebody time, got rid of this person. They called me, uh, Right in my stream, they called me a uh, mutant <laughs> because I was doing a quiet life. And, and, you know, I was there, but I was trying not to talk because the whole household was asleep. I think they didn't mean mutant. I think they were just not smart. You have good content. The views will come. I agree. Um, I wish I was doing more videos this summer, but my summer job is taking more of my energy than it ever has. So my hope is besides these 930 live streams this summer, which I want to go back to my cooking live streams, which is more up my alley, that uh, I'll go back to three videos a week and live stream every, as long as I need to. I had folks running on three tabs 24-7 for six days. I did not get that back. You know, um, B-Lady, I, I agree. Uh, I figured that out as well. And from my experience, when a person watches your video, you get credit for one time. You don't get credit for 30 times. You get the view count, but not the watch time count. Yeah, and view counts. View counts, I want one view from one person, unless, you know, so anyway. Um, Yes, the ISP is the same. Only if the ISP is the same. That is correct. ISP is not going to be the same if you have a different device, even if you're in the same house, because more than one person can be watching the same video at the same time, you know, if it's a different device. It'd be better if it was from a different account, but no smaller bites, no like, no like that. Oh, my God. What? A lot of people are getting their watch time hours reduced because of that reason. No, smaller bites. Like I don't know what you're saying there, Mama Goony. Mute, most likely. Yeah, but yeah, he meant mute. But it was one of those, I have no subscribers and I have one other, I have one person I subscribe to and it's one of the people that was one of my um, nemesis is, is, is. So I knew what he was trying to say. Yes, I know. Right, me, lady? Okay. Through, I have to watch the video more than once because I forget stuff. <laughs> That's fine. Watch it more than once. Please, please watch it as many times as you need to. There is a video I watch for apple cider vinegar just to get ideas or to remind me of one or two or three of the steps. 
Uh, I've, wa I've probably watched it 10 times, but I've watched it 10 times over three years. So live, love, and learn. Yes, I know, right. Okay, so be lady. Right, because YouTube runs them and they are all the same ISP. So no go, they deduct them. So somebody must have done that with me and that's why I'm 40 hours short. It might be that my husband uh, was running my, my, um, my play all and he forgot about it and it kept going. So it might, that might be why I'm 40 hours short of what I have. So yeah. And they, then people were all upset and mad because their time was reduced. Exactly. There's even people buying subscribers and view counts. And if they don't like you, they're you, they buy dislikes too. Oh yeah. So here's my experience. Ever since May, or early June, I think it was, ever since May, whenever I post a video, whether it's a, um, whether it's a premiere or I'm about to go live, um, I have a thumbs down before I've even pressed, you know, go. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's, it's kind of funny because... Um, I can expect it, but I have, uh, I found a way to protect myself from that. So I'm not bothered by it. I don't get, um, 23 thumbs up you guys. That's great. Uh, so I don't get bothered by it. Okay. Casey. Yeah. And then people are upset. Okay. Uh, Oh no, never pay. Never pay. I'm connected with folks all over the world and States here. Me too. Love your banner, Mama Goonie. Oh, three, uh, good. Three wheels in a block. Keep checking folks out. Make sure you do it right. I will ask my loyal followers if they could run your channel. They don't have channels of their own, but like supporting great content. That's why I shout out all the time. Thank you so much, Mama Goonie. You know, my husband is one of those people who doesn't have any content and uh, watches videos. He watches consistently. Remember the girl from China yesterday? You've known her for years. Excellent. That's beautiful. Hey, sweethearts, lovelies, I hate to do this to you. Be lady, don't be mad. I really do have to go because I have to prepare some choreography for tonight. Who used the S word? Where'd you use the S word? I can get rid of it. Mad because... Okay, subscribers. You know what? We saw it. We don't have to worry about it. We're going to remove it. Okay? There. Use the S word. That's all right. Gone. I hope you understand. Please be lady. Don't be mad. I have to go. If you're going live, we I will send folks over there. Remember the girl. Yep, I remember the girl. Take care. Take care. There she goes. Come on. I've got work to do. I've got work to do. I got to do. Oh, okay. Okay, Casey, thank you. No worries, get your uh, get your prep on. All right, yeah, I gotta prep for stuff. I will be back tomorrow at 9.30. My plan is also to have the Pico de Gallo video out on Thursday at seven. I will quit whatever rehearsal I'm in to say, excuse me, folks. And I will do my premiere. I hope to see you there. I hope to have more than eight people. I hope to hype it up. It'll help if I get it uh, edited and up by Wednesday instead of five minutes before like yesterday. <gasps> so much work. Anyway, love you, love you, love you. I am ending the stream and saying goodbye. You are my friends, my loyal friends. Live, love, and learn.